Welcome back on the channel, guys. This is my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, and I'm running the Android 16 QPR Beta 3.1. This is the build number you can see down below. And this was only a very minor in size release, 30 megabytes, but a lot of bug fixing, and it has been released on the 14th of August. And I think it has more than 24 bug fixes, guys. You can see it include fixes for device instability or reboots related to Wi-Fi. Content Hub, a low power sensor component will crash to excessive use of main memory. Home screen sometimes losses, bottom row of pin ups, the notification will overlap. A lot of issues, by the way. They fixed really a lot of issues. An issue that caused unexpected device restarts. The quick settings UI on uh, unfold foldable devices. I don't have a way to test this. The status bar appearing in the quick settings was misaligned. Also, numerous device reboots. Many, many, really many, many things there inside. I'm going to leave a link down below if you want to check this. Uh, what I wanted to show you really is how well my Pixel operates right now. And just do a testing with you. Okay, I'm going to open it right now. And I'm going to show you specifically some of the widgets because I do believe there are still some issues with the widgets. And you can see uh, with the animation like this is kind of blinky. that's not ideal uh, with this which is the clock one when I open also the weather sometimes okay now it wasn't all right the second time is gonna be better and sometimes this happened also with uh, things like Spotify I'm gonna open Spotify all right so see uh, I do believe that they need to do a bit more of a work but overall, you can see right now again, second time is always the charm. Overall, it is more or less stable and it's a pretty, pretty good stable update. Uh, I can use this and I still use this uh, as my second main uh, driver besides my Samsung phone. And yep, everything pretty much works. I can try to show you also some customizations on the lock screen. Some people are asking about this. For example, you can click here on the clock and, and there are various things that you can do right now. You can change and uh, there are various clock sizes and effects and stuff like that, which is something that is really, really good. Um, I do believe that Android 16 is gonna be a very good update for the Pixel. In regards to the clock, you can see I'm using now this template, but there are many other templates with different clock styles and different sizing and different width. So if you choose this one, you can change the clock face width. But if you choose this one, you can pretty much go and select a different size if you want, like large size or small size. It is pretty, pretty stable, but some of the things like, again, this widget animation still need a bit more of a work. And sometimes the widget animation is still a bit of a buggy, but overall very fluid, right? Very fluid. And and also battery wise quite okay so it, it is good for daily driving also of course certified which means all my payments work but if you want to get of course a smooth experience better don't use qpr or better so any other betters or even the canary which is like the most extreme form nevertheless a lot of bug fixing so i do believe that we are very 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 much getting the stable update hopefully september with one year eight all right android 16 QPR 3.1 on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.